Okay, welcome guys to this week's Boku no Hero Academy episode review. So the episode was titled Katsuki Bakugo's Origins. And that's kind of weird because this episode wasn't really an origin like episode. It was more you get, yeah, it was Bakugo having to deal with his problems with Deku and having to actually overcome them to deal with the exam. So I it's, it wasn't really an origin episode. So that that was weird. Yeah, of course, Bakugo and Deku had their differences in the beginning. Well, they still have their differences, but they actually overcame their differences to be able to pass and pass and actually get through All Might. Because, man, that guy was a beast. So, yeah, at, at first, Bakugo was just not listening to Deku at all, like not communicating with him or whatever. But it seemed, it didn't seem as if Bakugo did it. Baku actually believed he could beat All Might after we got like in the middle of the episode or so. In the beginning, it actually seemed like he actually believed that. But he was, I guess he was thinking that there's no way we can actually run, outrun this guy. We need to actually hit him and run. But the, his hate for Deku was getting, was getting into the way of actually communicating that to him. And that's the thing with Bakugo. His anger and hate blinds a lot of lot of people to seeing things that to see that he's actually thinking about the situations, etc. It doesn't just blind them, the audience. It it also blinds well, Deku. Deku is the only thing that actually blinds his his judgment. Because like part of it his judgment was hindered in the beginning half of the episode. And he's normally not not like this really. So he like he even states that he'd rather lose than team up with Deku. And that's only Deku. So Deku is is like his kryptonite in these situations. Bakugo always shoots to win. And Deku hearing that from Bakugo, like it just made him just made him feel kind of disgusted. So he had to just he had to call Bakugo out on his bullshit. Because that's what Deku actually looked up to Bakugo for. Like the he he, he does whatever it takes to win. But like, yeah, ba- Bakugo went over the overboard this episode saying he'd rather lose than team up with that. By that, I mean Deku. Yeah, so they actually team up against the monstrous hero, the wall, the symbol of peace called All Might. And even though they teamed up, they were no match for him. Like, really no match. Like, Bakugo had to, he broke Deku he broke Bakugo's two armband things his costumes and actually made him like it like made him able to be able to use his full power blasts so Bakugo had to go like up like a third like up the last part of the episode with his maximum blast without using the, the those gauntlets and you could see the veins his his arms were hurting his arms were were being torn off because of his moves because like Deku actually exclaimed, like just by just by using the gauntlet, it, it actually damaged his shoulder. So those blasts they have a ridiculous amount of recoil. Yeah, but differently, All Might really wasn't playing in this episode at all. He didn't hold back one bit, even though he was he even though he had like the the handicapped the weights, he was still very fast. He caught up with the boys easily. Sometimes you forget that he's that wall. That they all intend to pass in the future. That wall called the symbol of peace. It makes me wonder how strong all the other he- like endeavor is compared to All Might, since since he- there's this huge gap between All Might and the children. I'm just wondering exactly if we had an All Might versus an Endeavor fight, just how one-sided or like how much of a gap would there be, be- between their powers if there's even a gap at all. Yeah, there was even a time All Might broke Deku's back. I mean, like he ricoch he he um ricocheted. No, ricocheted is not the right word. But yeah, he punched in the opposite direction, so he would actually fly towards Deku and actually hit him, hit, hit use his body and hit Deku in the back, breaking his back in a, in a way. And Deku had to limp toward the fin, tried to limp towards the finish line, and yeah. It, it it was hard to watch. All Might knocked out Bakugo at one point, and this is where Deku's hero's instincts 
came like just came to fruition just just overcame him he was well he would the best choice would be to go to as a finish line but he turned around to punch all might and save bakugo before he went through the finish line all might probably would have been able to catch up to him but at that point all might was his his limiter his time limit as all had already been it's it was approaching his time limit so uh, i guess all might just let them pass just let them go i would probably let just let them pass if if i was all might too i mean he, he he's already ridiculously strong you have to give those ch- those children even more of a handicap you know what i mean like what aizawa did for yao yorozu and todoroki so yes this episode spells the end of the final exams and we're actually winding down to the end of this season next week is the last episode of this season of my hero academia deku will have a faithful encounter with with shiragaki shiragaki and it will prove to be a very creepy and interesting one i read the manga so i know so stay tuned well that's it for my review if you liked the video leave a like comment what are your thoughts on the episode subscribe and tune in next week for my last book no hero academia episode review and don't forget to stay gold <laughs>